Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Today we're doing a lower body workout with no equipment. It is prenatal safe, assuming your doctor gives you the okay. I'm currently 21 weeks pregnant, um, but you can do this during any trimester. Make sure you're just drinking a lot of water and listen to your body. So if something doesn't feel right or you feel like you need to take a break, totally fine. Take a break, pause the video or don't, and jump right in whenever you feel ready again. Um, and just make sure you're listening to your body throughout your entire workout. Uh, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with curtsy lunges. So we're gonna take our uh, right foot, and bring it behind our opposite leg, and we're gonna stay on that side. Make sure you're keeping your chest up, your shoulders back the entire time, and bending both knees as you come down and up. Good, engage your core as you're doing this. Five, four, three, two, other side, here we go. Again, make sure you're keeping that chest up, that shoulder back. more. Exhale every time you bring that back knee down. We have four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Going right into lateral lunges. So keep those toes facing forward. We're gonna take that right leg now out to the side and back in. So as you bring that right leg out, you're bending that right knee. Keep that left knee nice and straight. Again, keep that chest up and your shoulders back. We wanna make sure we're really engaging that core still. You might not feel like it, but your abs are still there under that belly. Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Both toes facing forward. Feel those inner thighs. Almost fell there. Working on my balance still. Let's get eight. Six. Four. Three. And one, we're gonna go right back into the other side. This time, as we come back to the center, you're gonna try to work on your balance by keeping that right leg up. If your balance isn't feeling so great, maybe you're really not in pregnancy, then go back to what we were doing originally. So, take that right leg out and try to balance on that left, okay? If that's too much, just um, do exactly what we were doing before when we bring that leg in. Otherwise, try to balance. When you're standing on that left leg, I want you to focus on keeping all of your weight on your heel. Left heel here. And bring that knee up, engage that core. Maybe your belly's a little big. Just bring it up as high as you can. You can just let it come a little bit lower. That's okay. Let's get five more. Three. Two. 
And last one here. Good. Bring that foot down. Right into the other side. Here we go. Balance on that right side. You might notice that one side is a little bit better in your balance than the other. That's totally normal. Make sure you're making, uh, keeping that weight on your right heel, not the toes, but the heel. Focus that weight. Get six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. All right. We're going to take our feet hip width apart here and just go into a squat. Down and up. Okay? Once we feel good here in that squat, we're gonna add a calf raise on top. So we're gonna come up to our tippy toes and raise those heels off the floor. I'll go sideways so you can see me. Squat, raise. Squat, raise, feel those calves. Again, in that squat, all of your weights in your heels, and then you bring it that weight into your toes as you come up into that calf raise. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna just go into some calf raises. Forget about that squat. Up and down, up and down, good. Ten more. Nine. I'm building my calves here. Eight. Seven. Six. We want to make sure we have a strong lower body. And we're able to carry that baby. Our biggest muscle is in our butt here. We have three. Two. And one. Good. We're gonna take that right foot now and kick it back. You're gonna keep a soft bend in your left leg. So kick that foot back and come back to center. Again, working our balance. If this is too much for you, feel free to hold on to the wall or if you have something else to hold on to, that's fine. So, 
you're gonna come nice and low, and you're gonna just take those feet out and in while you stay low. If jumping isn't for you today, you're just gonna give me a tap, tap. Stay low here, okay? Otherwise, feel free to add that jump. Option is yours, let's go. I'm breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, forward lunges. We're gonna take that right leg first, bring it forward, bend both legs. I'm gonna step back a little so you can see my full body here. Make sure that forward knee isn't going past your toes. I'm out of breath here, as you may also be. As we're pregnant, we get out of breath a little bit quicker. Before pregnancy. Ten more. 
Make sure that core is going like past your toes. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Here we go. Make sure your front foot is facing forward. Actually, both feet should be facing forward. Here we go. Ten more. Keep breathing through this. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. Okay. Like I said, we're gonna move down to the floor now. Feel free to grab some water if you need it first. Otherwise, we're just gonna go right down on your side. So you can lay in whatever position is comfortable for you. I'm gonna lay on my forearm here. Keep my head up. If it's more comfortable for you to rest that head, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna keep one arm on our um, hip, and we're just gonna go into a clamshell. So you can keep that right leg up and down, keeping those feet together. Nice 
Nice work. We are 15 seconds in. You're halfway. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Extend that top leg and bring it all the way up and down. It's heavy here. We have ten, nine,
Good. Bring those feet together into a butterfly stretch and push those knees down with your elbows. Feels good to get a quick sweat in. your belly sides. Try and uh, get that glute stretch in. We'll do another one standing up after this if you can't get too uh, much of a stretch here. That's okay. Good. Release that knee and twist over that right shoulder. Slow and gentle twist. Nothing extreme. And switch, take that left foot, cross it over, squeeze your knee into your chest as much as you can. I know this is getting a little bit harder for me. I'm not getting as much of a stretch in my glutes here as I used to before I had a belly. And twist over that left shoulder. Now we're gonna slowly make our way up to standing. I recommend going onto both knees, taking one foot and coming up with the other so you can get up nice and safe. And let's just take those feet out and come down to a squat. Push those knees out with your elbows. those legs as you slowly make your way up one vertebrae at a time and hold on to something the wall the table whatever's close to you and take that right foot cross it over that left thigh and sit down as low as you can you should get a nice glute stretch here you don't need to hold on to the wall if you have the balance but I do recommend holding on just so you can get an extra stretch. Good, and switch. Bring that left foot over that right thigh, sit down into your hips. And slowly make your way up. Nice work, everyone. Let's take one big inhale through our nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, I'm Rachel. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.